Hi, Paul. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> Set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Try not to make it too distracting. Um, so, if you could just kick off with a brief introduction to After Sun, what can audiences expect when they watch it? I think they can expect a film that uh, makes people think about their parents. How we don't really know them until we become a little bit older and gain perspective. Um, yeah, let's start with that. <laughs> And what really spoke to you when you first read this script? Um, I think the standard of the writing was just really high. The character was really well drawn. Um, I think it's like uh, there's something private about the storytelling and what Charlie has written that I was just drawn to. I think it requires an audience to lean in and kind of absorb it rather than be told what's happening. So uh, yeah, it's just really exciting. And it's such a nuanced performance. <laughs> um, how did you kind of get under the skin of the character? This kind of, you know, it's obviously his best self when he's with his daughter, but there's yeah. so much more going on underneath that as a child she couldn't quite understand. Well, that was kind of the game during filming was like, how do we not show Sophie what's going on behind closed doors for Callum in his own battles? And, uh, yeah, it, it was just about keeping those two things distinct, which I think it is, is how most people who are battling their own demons act and exist within the world. They keep things private, and ultimately that's quite toxic and dangerous. You, you're, both of you on screen just seem like, you know, you've known each other for years. The characters seem so lived in, uh, the dialogue's so naturalistic. You know, how, how did you prepare and how did you work together on set? Do you want to take that? Um, okay. So before we started filming, we got two weeks to get to know each other, to bond and to basically play games because, yeah, um, and then, but it was just easy because Paul is easy to get along with, so yeah, we got to know each other very well. Yeah. yeah. Were you taken aback just how good her performance was for such a young actress? I think I was taken aback and then kind of forgot about it so soon because I was like, here's an actor who, like, it, it's not, it kind of, I think she graduates very quickly from being a child actor, just one of my favourite actors to work with. It's, um, it's, it's, it's kind of refreshing being, like, reminded of the feeling that I first had on the first day on set and that audiences get to encounter that for the first time now is really exciting. For me, it just really captures something. I don't, it's quintessentially British about the, the holiday that they're on and these moments of little, you know, joy, the little arguments and how they're kind of, you know, it seems very everyday, but they're such precious moments when you look back. Um, what was it like filming all of that and being on set with Charlotte? Yeah, it's, it's a film that is innately nostalgic, I think. And there's something more, like the soundtrack, the music, the colours, they, like, reminded me of my own family holidays that I went on as a kid, and I feel like those... Uh, those resorts, those places that people still holiday, look and feel the same today. So yeah. Um, was there a particular moment that you enjoyed filming, or that you found particularly challenging? Being in and out of the water. I don't know if you got too chilly. You didn't like the mud baths. He ate the mud bath. I loved doing the scene where we sang "Happy Birthday to Callum." I, I loved that one. I did not like that scene. <laughs> it's it was... a sad scene. <laughs> it's a fun one for you. A sad one. Yeah, for me. I, I love that. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Yeah. And also the scene when Sophie and the teenagers come from the pool. Yeah, fun. Yeah. Did you have to kind of um, practice or hone some dad dancing, or did that come naturally? I know, natural, natural dad Naturalist, dancer. Definitely. Yeah, it's in my blood. Yeah. And what do you ultimately th hope people will take away from watching the film? I guess kind of reflect on their own relationships and, and something about the nature of, of memory. Yeah, I think it's. If it, force, if it allows anybody to like kind of re-examine their own relationship with either their children or their parents, I think that would be a, a success. So, yeah. And how does it feel to be here at London Film Festival? And, of course, the incredible reception this film has already had so far. I mean, five stars, left, right, and centre. It's good. It's great. It's Exciting. Great. And yeah. kind of scary as well, but great. And... Um, in terms of you know looking back at your own sort of shoot to stardom off the back of normal people you know what have been your reflections on that i mean the chain you had in the film had its yeah. own instagram channel yeah still alive and kicking i believe uh yeah look it's it's the thing that i'm probably most grateful for in the world is that show less so the instagram page but uh i'm here today with a film that i'm really proud of because of that show so yeah really quick, quick tell us what you're doing next 
Yes, I'm going to be on stage in London, uh, Streetcar Named Desire, at the Almeida. No. <laughs> well, I've no doubt you're going to have lots of offers after this. So, um, really enjoy your night tonight, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. See you.